And I remember you called Arnold. He didn't we were like sitting the idea. there, and he he, he like was nervous idea. about it. Well, I remember it was we had a breakfast, and uh, I said, uh, "All right, here's the deal: you don't kill anybody on this film." And he said, "But Jim, I, I'm the Terminator. <laughs> I, that's what I do. I, I kick in the door with a machine gun. I kill people." I said, "Yeah, but you can't kill anybody in this film. It's really it's it's critical thematically that you don't." And and so finally, then he started to negotiate. He said, "He said, well, all right, well." Well, that's fine. Once the boy tells me that I can't kill people, that makes sense. But can't I just kill some people before that? <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. You can't kill anybody. He said, it's going to be terrible. I said, no, it'll work. And then, of course, this, this is a scene where we were hoping, um, in, you know, in the first weekend, before anyone saw it, um, clearly Robert the is the good guy. Right. And Arnold is the bad guy. And right. this is the... The it's scene a fake out it's where yeah where where we turn the tables on everybody it's a fake out that ignores the fact that people are going to talk about the movie in interviews before anyone has seen it and say so you play a good guy in this film Arnold uh, what, what what was that like I know but you know you still have to you have to construct the you go story through the, you go through the motions that's right. not going to happen right exactly you know? So we were we were playing Robert we were walking a fine line with him here and and uh, and having him be putting out a strange aura but not be overtly threatening well and, and having and arnold is, Ar and because the the t-800 the arnold terminator doesn't know any differently <laughs> right it's just right. doing he's just doing things in his normal bulldozer fashion and of course this is mirroring um you know the recent arnold uh, in the in the first film right. um coming together and and being a police right. officer right. you know who's there to serve and protect it's the, exactly the same architecture as the first film in, a, in an abstract sense because you put Michael Bean on the map in the first film and he seems like a very threatening guy, very mm -hmm. very shadowy. That guy's a good friend of mine, this, this Japanese guy in the hall named Takao Kamine. He flew over from Tokyo just so he could have an honorable death, which will happen here in a few seconds. <laughs> so right at this point, we still, we still don't know. The Terminator could be after John. Well, and I... I think and it's at all this carefully point, I was praying that people would would think that. Right, because I mean, it, it's all complete. It's all misdirection, and most people sort of get it. They see it coming. Yeah. They know that the Terminator is not going to shoot the kid, and they know that this is the bad guy, because that's the only interesting way it could work. Yeah, and but right everything here, everything reverses here. Arnold Arnold has Michael Bean's dialogue. Yep, from the first film. Takao got his honorable death. And Robert, that shot was not speeded up. Robert could somehow fire and reload that gun in, in the fastest I've ever seen an actor do it. I'll bet you he practiced he had, a whole lot. He did practice, but he had remarkable physical control and concentration. I mean, he was really quite astounding. <laughs> <laughs>